Hi, I'm Dr. Tony McCanta. I'm a pediatric cardiologist at Chalk, and I'm a heart rhythm specialist. Today, we're here to discuss arrhythmias. So an arrhythmia is an abnormal heart rhythm, uh, either too fast or too slow. There are various treatments for the different arrhythmias. For the slow rhythms, which are called Brady arrhythmias, uh, they often will require an implanted device, and that can be a pacemaker or another similar device. For the fast heart rhythms, which are called tachycardias, they can be treated with medications, or they may also require a procedure called a ablation procedure. During an ablation procedure, we make an in-depth three-dimensional map of the inside of the patient's heart. This map is actually made using a external three-dimensional mapping system. So there's magnets around the patient that sense where the catheters are, and we can create then a shell of the inside of their heart. We then get them into the arrhythmia and we can map the exact circuit and the exact location down to the millimeter of where the arrhythmia is coming from. And then we can place a very precise burn or freeze at the abnormal area. The majority of our procedures are done with very little x-ray radiation. Uh, most of the time we'll use the three-dimensional mapping system entirely on its own. I've also chosen recently to integrate intracardiac echocardiography, so we actually have an ultrasound catheter inside the heart that allows us to look throughout the heart and then it integrates with our three-dimensional map. So we can make very detailed maps of the inside of somebody's heart without the use of, of x-ray. Most heart rhythm problems, at least the tachycardias or the fast heart rhythm problems, are caused by circuits of electricity in the heart. It is really an anatomic problem and so by fixing that problem or by getting rid of the abnormal area of tissue, you can fix the arrhythmia. Now most uh, arrhythmias can be treated with medications, but sometimes the medications are, are not well tolerated. Uh, some of the medications have side effects, and also some patients just do not want to be on medications for the long period of time and would rather have these problems fixed. Ablation procedures are invasive, although they are minimally invasive. Uh, and so many of the questions that parents have revolve around the risks and, and the invasiveness. Uh, there are, there's a very, very low chance of any major complication with these procedures. Most of these procedures are outpatient procedures. So a patient can come in, have uh, their heart mapped and burned or frozen and go home the same day. Many of my uh, young adolescents or, or teens will go back to their sport within 48 hours of having this procedure. The, the primary goal of these procedures in my mind though is safety is the number one goal. The number two goal is success. And so when those two competing values are at odds with each other, we'll choose safety every single time. And so some of the cases that do have a recurrence, I've, I had personally chosen not to be as aggressive due to safety safety for the patient. So in a more dangerous part of the heart, we won't be as aggr aggressive knowing that the arrhythmia may come back. You know, one thing I, I, I like to talk about to the kid is what their experience is going to be. You know, we do all of these under general anesthesia. So most of the patients will come in, they'll get an IV, which, which is no fun, but once you get the IV, then that's really it for them. They don't feel anything, they don't remember anything. They often will wake up after the procedure and ask me when the procedure will begin, and they're already done. So, I, I, you know, from the patient perspective, it's, it's also, it's not something that they feel or remember or have any pain during.